Okay. So for today's video, which we just came up with the idea for five seconds before this recorded, we're gonna do some apple picking today. And of course, in Pyro 5610 style, nothing means what it normally means. So what I mean by apple picking, we have apples out on the range. And Tyler and I are going to see if we can unholster our weapon and pop off one of those six, seven apples up there. And then we also have one on the ground, which we'll just aim at the pumpkin. So the rules are you have to stand at the ready. Let me zoom this out so you can see me. Whoop, 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 whoop. Things are backwards. So you have to stand at the ready. You have to have your gun on your holster. You unholster your weapon, pull up, fire one into the pumpkin or into, the, into one of the apples, you have to hit an apple. So he's got like 15 rounds, I have eight because I'm carrying my 1911. So he's gonna fire, you hit an apple, then you hit the pumpkin. Then the timer stops, which one of us will be timing. Like we said, we're just gonna be standing. We decided to carry un, uh, unloaded. So we have the magazine in, we do not have one in the chamber. So pull up, rack one, shoot an apple, shoot a pumpkin. All right, let me see if I'll focus on. All righty, three, two, one. God damn. Oh, and stop. So here we have it folks, a simple 1298. Oh shit, that took him a lot of shots, so I have a feeling it's gonna take me a bunch of shots. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Under eight, you got 7.85. You see that apple though? Yeah. <laughs> Gee. I just did a mag dump into the pumpkin. I knew I hit it, but I wanted to hit it a couple more times. Oh, that's always fun. Let's go find the apple that I hit. <laughs> Clean in half, just like I planned. Holy crap. We're gonna have clean up this shit. The rest is just mush, scattered mush. <sighs> Here's and here's Tyler's. Right bad, through the bad, side. Bad. <laughs> In the summertime, when this series resumes, I'm gonna, my plan is actually to do some special winter episodes. So this is gonna continue all year round. I live in Pennsylvania, so the weather's always changing. Um, we are getting into the colder months. However, um, I don't think I can use fruit as much in the summer because I'm going to have one heck of a bee's nest out here. So we're going to be switching over to more uh, gong style targets. I'll get more of those. But for today, if you remember the last video, you know what? I didn't put it up, but I'm going to put it up uh, just prior to this video. There's a video of me, Tyler, and Dad doing six shots through the 38 Special. Tyler and I couldn't hit this gong right here. So now we're gonna do a time session. One of us has to hit the apple. One apple, that's all you have to hit, just one apple. And we're gonna do a timed and see who can hit the apple the quickest. Oh, and because I didn't go over it, I was less than eight seconds, so I won that last round. <laughs> and then you can shoot it in single action as well. And I can't hit worth shit on either one. Yeah. Never gonna hit this thing. Woo! Second time trying the 38 special. And of course, he's shown his kids up again. 
As a review, uh, this is the Rock Island Armory, Armory $200 gun, 38 special. But here's the sights. Whoop, whoop. If you're new to the channel, you can see there's a groove here and then just a post in the back. So hitting those apples seems like, oh, that should be pretty easy, but it's not because you really, the first couple shots are basically gonna be us figuring out where we're shooting at. And we only have six shots to do it, so. We'll stop the clock, let it reload. If we don't get it in six shots, we'll stop the clock, do a reload, and then continue the clock. Because I don't have a speed loader or anything for this, so that'd be unfair. Might help if I had the uh, camera recording. <laughs> All right, here we go. Weather's getting nasty. Three, two, one, go. And he's out. Let me back this up for you. 17 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. So, oh, he had one left. So Tyler couldn't hit it in his first 12 shots. He's at 34 seconds, so I'm gonna see if I can even hit one. Yeah. So we're not gonna time this one because I just wanna see if I can hit an apple from this distance. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna try double action. Let me see if I can hit the gong. Okay. Woo! Eight rounds. Two light strikes. <laughs> All right. Well, since we're getting cut short by the rain, we still recording? Yeah. Since we got cut short by the rain, um, I was gonna blow up a pumpkin today. I might still be able to do that. That's gonna be a far stretch, but it, we are losing daylight because it is raining. But as you saw, I hit it in eight shots. I finally hit the apple. We go get it real quick. We'll just edit all this out. I did get the apple right there. Good apple. Gunpowder. All right, so. That's all for this video. I'm going to post a behind the scenes video next. Um, it's kind of just a little compilation of all the clips that didn't get onto tape. Um, but first, right before this is over, I just want to shoot a pumpkin because I might, we're going to try and load that one up with Tannerite and blow it up. But we're going to try these two versus that pumpkin over there. First shot on a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Now I gotta flip the pumpkin around. Okay, let's get. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. That's what close range birdshot does, everyone.
Oh, it smells like rotten pumpkin. Okay, now we got a clean surface. Oh no, dictionary stay in there. Yeah. Okay. Now for. Woo! It smells bad. Plug through the pumpkin. Way more damage than I expected. I think it actually did less though than the... Still a big asshole. <laughs> yeah, big asshole. All right, so there's one pumpkin out of the way. 